Good Tuesday morning, second grade. We are continuing on problem solving, choose a model. I am on page 489, and we will start right away with a homework problem. With a homework problem, we are given a chart here on the side. It gives us some information about a trivia contest. It's a contest about information. So to see who knows the most about all kinds of information. Gives us the different rounds. That means the different games that they played. They played up to four rounds and these were the different scores. Number one, at a trivia contest, there are four rounds. A team's final score is the total of their three highest scoring rounds. So this is one team, it shows their four rounds, their scores for every round, and the final score is always the total of the three highest scoring rounds. What is this team's final score? We need to find the three highest scoring rounds and find their total. What does that mean when we find the total of something? Is that adding or subtracting? Total means you're putting it together. So I hope that you thought of adding because adding is correct. So we need to add the three highest rounds. Take a look here and pick the three highest rounds and add them up in this column here. The three highest rounds. I'm giving you a head start. Now I'm going to begin. The three highest I see Those are the three highest. And now I'm going to add them. Go ahead, you can begin. I'll be right behind you. All right, see if your answer matches mine. Number two, use the data in the tally chart for exercises two through four. The students in an art class vote for their choice for the next project. Choose a bar graph, picture graph, or line plot. Draw a model of the data. So they voted to see what they wanted for their next project. And we can see that pottery got six votes painting got two votes and drawing got five votes we're going to draw this out we have to decide which one is it is it a bar graph picture graph or a line plot now remember we've talked for two days now what does it take to use a line plot a line plot is about one subject matter and it's always about measuring inches or measuring meters or maybe it'd be about weight. Um, but when I look here, that is not what we're talking about. We're not measuring anything. We're looking at different types of art classes. So right now, I know I am not going to choose a line plot, so I crossed it out. Now I can use a bar graph or a picture graph. Since we already did a line plot and a bar graph on our other work, let's do a picture graph this time. And for the picture graph, it's going to look a lot like the tally chart. I'm going to make the title at the top the exact same thing. Next art project. And on the left hand side, I'm going to talk about the three options there. So I'll make three sections. I could have made it bigger. So I'll have to write small now. Pottery, painting, and drawing. Those are my three categories. 
And then I always need to make a key. The key talks about what picture I'm going to use for my picture graph. So my key will be each. And I guess I'm going to, since it's art, I, I'll make a paintbrush. You don't have to do that, but that's what I'm going to do. Each paintbrush stands for one, uh oh, I ran out of room, for one vote. Okay, now let's take the information from my tally chart and move it over here. Pottery has six votes, so I'm going to make six paintbrushes. You can always pause and do this yourself and then join back. Painting has two paintbrushes. And drawing has five paintbrushes. All right, now I have made my picture graph. I'm going to answer the questions. How many students vote? Well, I need to add them all up. I can just count it out if you like, or I can add it this way. There's lots of ways to solve this. I'm going to do it just like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 students that voted. And now we're going to talk about something specific. Al votes for the project that has four fewer votes than the most popular project. What was Al's vote? So we have to guess, what did, that, what did Al vote for? We know that it's fewer or less, four fewer or less than the most popular vote. So if I find the most popular vote and then I find four fewer, I'll know what Al voted for. So what was the most popular vote? Hmm, the one that had six. So pottery, and now I want four fewer than that. So if I have six, Minus four, four fewer, I end with two. Ah, and which project had two? It was painting. Great. Next page. Choose a bar graph, picture graph, or line plot to help you solve the problem. Jayla measures to the nearest foot the lengths of some jump ropes. Wow, so she has a lot of jump ropes of different sizes. How many more jump ropes are 7 feet long than 10 feet long? Draw a model of the data. Well, all right. So first thing I want to do is I am looking at jump ropes and I am looking at their measurement. Oh, to the nearest foot. What was that trick that we do? If we know that it's measuring, we know that the best way to solve it will be with a line plot with measuring. And today, because of time, I am not going to make a tally chart. I'm just going to go ahead and draw it right here. I know that I have the number 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I'll put here 7, 8, 9, and 10 and we know that there are more numbers going down and more numbers going up but i'm just going to look at those i'm going to find all of the jump ropes that are seven feet long so here's one two three four one two three four and then i'll choose the eight feet jump rope one two one, two. Now the jump ropes that are nine feet long. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
and the jump ropes that are 10 feet long. Only one. So this is a model of the line plot. The title up here would be the jump rope and their lengths. Okay, so jump rope lengths. And we saw all the lengths, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down here, these numbers represent the length. In inches, centimeters, feet, oh, feet. So that's what they said. Okay, so now that we've drawn this all out, we have to answer the question. We haven't done that yet. The question is how many more, oh, there's those three words, how much more, how many more? That always means subtract. How many more jump ropes are seven feet long than 10 feet long? Oh, now we're not subtracting seven from 10. We're subtracting the number of jump ropes that are seven feet and the number of jump ropes that are 10 feet. So let's look, how many jump ropes do we have that are seven feet long? One, two, three, four. We have four of them. And how many jump ropes do we have that are 10 feet long? Oh only one. So now we want to know how many more of them are there. Four minus one is three. So there are three more seven foot long jump ropes than ten foot long jump ropes. Number six. Two of Clark's friends have blonde hair. Four have brown, three have black, and two have red. Should Clark use a bar graph, picture graph, or line plot to model the data? All right. Here's the main question. Are we using any measurements? Is it feet, inches, centimeters? No. So we know it is not going to be a line plot. That means that it can be either a bar graph or a picture graph. It does not use measurement like inches, feet, or anything like that. It does not use measurement. So, oops, so he can use a bar graph or a picture graph. No line plot because it's not measuring inches or feet or anything like that. All right, that's the end of today. Good job.